Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. India and Russia have agreed to further deepen cooperation between the two countries in the international arena, including in BRICS and other multilateral formats. In a telephonic conversation between Prime Minister Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin last week, the two leaders have pledged to increase efforts to develop the India-Russia Special and Privileged Strategic Partnership, and agreed to maintain the momentum in the bilateral relation. The two countries have discussed the draft on the military logistic sharing agreement, and India already has such logistic sharing agreements with countries including the US, Singapore, France and Oman. According to latest reports, a team of Indian Army soldiers have created an armed unmanned aerial vehicle, which has been a long pending requirement of the Indian Army. The quadcopter has been used in operations, and is capable of carrying out day and night surveillance, and carrying around 2 kg of payload. The Army has also found, that the Indian industry has the capability to develop a more advanced version of this aerial vehicle, and demonstrations of some models could be held next month. According to latest reports, the Indian Army will be getting 5,719 sniper rifles from global vendors, to replace the Russian Dragonov rifles that were procured in the 1990s. The Indian Army is getting sniper rifles from different vendors including Magnum Scorpio DGT of Italy, and Barrett M95 rifles from the US. The ammunition for these rifles will be initially procured from foreign countries, and it will be subsequently manufactured in India. There will be licensed manufacture of 5 million rounds of Magnum ammunition under a transfer of technology to Ordnance Factory Board and private sector manufacturers. In an effort to equip the soldiers on the border with modern and more effective equipment, the procurement of rifles, carbines and light machine guns have been fast-tracked. Nearly 4 lakh employees working in 41 ordnance factories and other production units in the country will go on a three-day strike from 23rd to 25th January, to protest against the Modi government's decision to allow 100% private participation in defense production. All India Defense Employees Federation represents ordnance factories, 52 DRDO labs and various armed forces establishments. Over 200 items have been declared non-core, and they include items like parachutes and tents, and their production will be outsourced. The Indian Space Research Organization has said, that it has missed the January-February launch window, for its second moon mission, which is now expected to be carried out around March or April. The agency aims to complete two unmanned missions in December 2020 and July 2021, before it can actually put a human in space by December 2021. The space agency will also launch its second reusable launch vehicle later this year, which could help reduce costs further. The Indian Space Research Organization has said, that its strategic partners Hindustan Aeronautics and Larsen and Tubro have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, to manufacture the industry-made Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. ISRO is taking steps to hand over their manufacturing of launch vehicles to domestic industry by 2020.